Hey everybody, Derek Beasley here with your updated forecast as we head to your Friday night and weekend. We have rain on the way, at least for part of the weekend. Uh, looks like Sunday is going to be much better, but we got to get through tonight and tomorrow and flood watch is in effect for the area. A good chunk of the state, with the exception of Western Maryland and parts of the lower eastern shore. It's going to be right through the I-95 corridor that we expect some of the heaviest rain out of this system where we could be looking at upwards of three inches in some parts of the area. So here's what we're watching overnight tonight. We're going to be looking again with that flood watch through Saturday afternoon. The heaviest rain is going to be in the morning and then we should th see things improve quickly during the afternoon and evening. That'll give us some sunshine here for your Sunday as temperatures overnight tonight fall only back to the upper 40s to around 50. So remaining steady uh, right around 50 degrees overnight with rain chances increasing after 9 to 10 o'clock. Notice how the chances go up significantly by late morning or late night into the early morning hours, so it's going to be a very wet start to your Saturday. But again, the system's going to be in and out of here pretty quickly. Won't stick around long, so we expect things to improve quickly here by tomorrow afternoon and evening. But there's the leading edge of the rain now, and all of this that you see to our south is what is yet to move into our region. So Futurecast shows tonight rain moving into the area continues through the overnight and during the morning hours on your Saturday. And then by Saturday afternoon, the back edge of the rain starts to pull away. So two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, we'll see the rain exit the region. Skies will clear out overnight Saturday, and then we've got a pretty nice forecast on the way as we go into your Sunday. So again, those chances for rain going down throughout the day, 100% probability through lunchtime and then starting to step downward as we go into the afternoon. You can see a widespread area is going to be dealing with two to three inch rainfall totals across the area. So just keep that in mind here through your first part of your weekend plans. But as I mentioned, the second part of the weekend, not looking bad at all. Highs in the mid 50s again on Sunday after that rain tomorrow. Alert day in effect due to the flood threat and also the possibility of some heavy rain causing some issues on the roadways. But after that, looks like we've got sunshine and 60s on the way Monday. And then our next chance for rain coming in towards midweek right now. Opening day looking dry.